met when I was living in Florida. Um, I was actually bartending on the beach and uh, his sister lives down there. So he would always come down and visit his sister and then I was his bartender and he picked me up. <laughs> we, we did the long distance thing for a little while and, and uh, she came to visit and was very intrigued by uh, farm life and kept coming back and coming back <laughs> and she's still here, I guess. <laughs> Couldn't get rid of me. My name's Michelle and I also run a blog called The Farm Babe, uh, where I help to bridge the gap between farmers and consumers. Um, towards the end of my high school career, I had taken a test that said I should go into farming and I ignored all that and I wanted to see what else was out there. So I went out and got a degree in fashion merchandising, visual communications. So I used to be such a big city girl when I saw the movie Food Inc. And from there, I kind of bought into this whole organic, grass-fed, um, Monsanto, non-GMO, all this kind of stuff is, is what I believed. Well, one of the first times I came to Iowa, we were over there feeding cattle and I was looking around at the fields and I was just kind of intrigued with kind of what, how things get done around here. And um, I had asked him about, oh, are your crops GMO? And he was like, yeah. And I looked at him like he had three heads, you know? I'm like, what? <laughs> And you know, how could this great guy be growing something so terrible for the environment and all this stuff that I had heard, all the rumors and the myths that I once believed. He looked at me and he says, yeah, like GE technology has great things for us on the farm. And I was just really surprised. I, I think being in the area that we're in, you know, this is generally accepted. And when you get somebody from a, a large urban area that had been severely misinformed, I mean, it, it just really blew my mind what her, what she believed. And uh, now over the last couple of years, I've just learned so much and I've just um, basically debunked all the myths that I once believed in about it. And it's really opened my eyes the last couple of years to see the benefits of modern technology to farmers and how it really helps. It helps farmers and it helps consumers and it ultimately, I mean, it keeps your food affordable, which is really what we're going for. I've personally never had a disaster. Uh, he said this is my 17th year of doing this and I've never had a crop failure. Um, and, you know, we've had dry years and exceptionally wet years, but with the technology, they really, really withstand those elements. And it, you know, it's been good for my bottom line and, and it's, like I said, continued to, to improve every year, it seems like. The thing that I find so interesting is only 2% of the population of North America are actually growing crops. So you have to figure, and the 2% of us were really busy <laughs> and not always on social media or busy or they're an older generation or whatever the case may be. It's just not commonplace for you to talk about it because it's all you know. Whereas the other 98% of the population, I mean, they don't know. So if they believe a myth, you can't blame them because they're not exposed to it. So that's fine. But my goal as the farm babe is to just encourage people to talk to us and bridge the gap and not believe everything you read on the internet, but just come to us because we want to talk to you and we want to bridge this gap. And, and essentially my goal is to help people not fear their food. And before you go reading some article and taking it at face value, like understand that there's a lot of stuff behind journalism or scare tactics. People have to remember as farmers, I mean, we're not out to poison the world. We're out to feed the world and keep your food affordable and work hard to do that. And, you know, I would never put myself in jeopardy or my family and anything like that. So it's like, I eat our own beef every day almost, you know? And so it's like, well, if I thought something was really bad or my cattle weren't doing well, why would I feed that to myself? It's important to, to talk to farmers instead of Google. <laughs>